This video should help you understand trumpet articulation. Before we explain exactly what trumpet articulation is, take your tongue and touch inside your mouth where the roof of your mouth and the back of your top teeth meet. So it should be where the gum part of the inside of your mouth and your top teeth meet. You can touch that spot with the very tip of your tongue. Use only two taste buds. Trumpet articulation, or tonguing, happens when we separate a long note into smaller notes. It sounds like this. I'm playing my trumpet without the main tuning slide in it. When I articulate, my air never stops. I just let my tongue separate the air for an instant. It separates a long, steady sound. Imagine a sink with running water. If you were to pass your hand underneath the running water, the water wouldn't stop. It would keep flowing. Your hand would simply interrupt the flow of the water. The water is like your air. Your air should never stop when you're articulating. It is so important that you have steady air that never stops. When you articulate, your sound should still be smooth and connected. All of your articulation should always touch each other and not be choppy. Here's a few examples of what not to do. In this example, I did not use my tongue. I stopped my air and I pushed pulses of air instead of using my tongue. This is incorrect. In this example, I did use my tongue, but I, le I left it on my gum for a very long time in between each note. You want your tongue to move very quickly and just really flick the roof of your mouth where your top teeth and the roof of your mouth meet. This should be a very quick motion. Your tongue should move very quickly. And remember, you only use the tip and two taste buds. Here's one more example of correct articulation. The secret word is jack-o'-lantern.